when it comes to video editing, the first principle is that what applies to one applies to all. So if you can learn how to edit with one software, you will be able to apply that principle to all other software. It just takes you learning how to use one and you are good to go. The second thing is that we emphasize simple editing. We don't want to do all those Hollywood style editing. It takes a lot of time because what we want to do is to be able to quickly edit these videos and post them. That means that we should be able to edit our videos fast, right? It means that we will do just the basic things we need for the videos to fly. And the basic things are first, you learn how to import your raw video. So I am assuming you are using your phone to make your video. So after recording your video, you take that file and take it to your laptop. And then the first skill for editing is learning how to import that raw file to your editing software. This is an example of an editing software. This is Camtasia, but you can use it for Filmora. You can use it for any other platform, right? It's still the same principle. Now, if you are editing on your phone, it's the same thing. Import that raw file into the editing platform. So that's the first skill you have to learn. Then the second skill is to cut out mistakes. Don't worry, we'll go through an example. To cut out mistakes. So, so things like maybe you, you say something wrongly, you pronounce something wrongly, you want to learn how to cut it out. Or maybe there's a long pause. Like you are thinking of what to say. You can't just leave it there. So you have to cut it out. So the next tip is to learn how to cut out mistakes, right? That's the second tip. The, the third tip is learn how to add things, learn how to add things. So you learn how to add like text on the screen. Maybe if you say five tips to do something, then you should learn how to add text. Say number one, this number two, this number three, this, right? So that's the third skill you have to learn, but still under learning how to add things. You have to learn how to add things like like button so that when people are watching the like shows or subscribe button so that when people are watching the subscribe shows you also learn how to add things like maybe sound effects but you know those ones are quite advanced background sound um maybe if you have anything you want to add maybe you are mentioning something and you have an image from let's say pixabay or on splash.com you can add those images there so that's the next thing you have to learn how to do so number one first you have to learn how to import your raw video number two you have to learn how to cut out mistakes and cut out things the third thing you have to learn how to add things right so you add like buttons text and everything then number four you have to learn how to export so you see it's just four steps you need basic four steps and we'll be going through those four steps now right so that we we'll understand assuming this maybe this is in short or camtasia or filmora or power director anything imovie Premiere Pro, the same process, the same four step process applies. Import, add things, remove things, export. So, first, the basic thing you need to learn is on this platform, how, where, what button do you click to import? For Camtasia, it's, you can import here, you can come here, you can import here. For here, you can also click um, plus button and import. It's the same thing everywhere. Just look around you, see where to import. So let's import a media. Uh, so the media can be um, video, your raw file, basically, right? Your raw file. Uh, let me look for a very raw stuff here. Let me see this. Uh huh. This is very short, so that we we'll just use it for demonstration purposes. Okay. So um, you see, we've imported it here, right? So usually, when you import, for basically for all of these platforms, you might need to add to what we call timeline. This is a timeline. InShot has it. Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro has it. Everything. So you either drag or look for a way to add to the timeline. And so when you add to the timeline, it becomes um, editable, right? It becomes editable. So this is a very brief video, 11 seconds, but it, this principle applies to all. So. Um, I can simply enlarge it so that I will see these waveforms now will tell me where I want to edit. If, for example, we assume that maybe here, this portion now, huh? maybe this portion here is a place I made a mistake and I want to cut it out. So you see, the, we've done the first thing to import. The second thing is to cut out. So simply come here and select that part. This is a basic principle that applies to all editing platform. You select that part, there usually would be a place to delete or cut 
or so and then for here is this scissors so you just simply cut and i've cut out the mistake it applies to any editing software now if for example this you know you, for your youtube video it should be punchy and fast so there shouldn't be a lot of pauses and you know second guessing remove it people are not patient sometimes when you have a lot of pauses and silence all over the place people just click away so make sure that places like this you just select all and cut or just click delete then see another place here this is in silence again cut and delete right and then see this end place here you can just simply select and i press delete on my my laptop now and that's off then select this one too and delete so basically that is the second skill you have to learn just to learn how to cut the third skill you have to learn is learn how to add things usually all platform has have where you can maximize and minimize so that you can see properly so for example if i want to add a like button i will assume you already have the like button or the uh, subscribe button if you don't you can go to pixabay.com and then check to videos and type like button subscribe button you can get them animated ones i already have it on my uh, library here so i won't have to import them again right but if you don't have them you have to import them this is my like button so you simply click and add to timeline right and then you look for where you want to add it so um i want it to be at the beginning and this is it but you notice something that usually it comes with with colors right so i want to remove the color it's still under the learning how to cut things out you have to learn how to remove background color i go back to my library i select the like button and then this is the like button and then i come to visual effect every every software has its own way of removing colors but if you don't you can now download a like button that doesn't have a background so that you don't need to go through this process of removing colors but mine has a background color so you simply click here click here and you see the background is gone so i can now use these arrows to adjust the like to this lower side so that when you come here and you're going you see bah, it appears bah, it appears right so that's it another very important asset you need to add to your videos is your subscribe button and you can go to pixabay.com and download it if you are a student of um, the recent course i i launched you have 125 of these designed templates um, and graphics you can use right you can just go there and check them so for this subscribe button you just right click and add to your timeline the same way see this one doesn't have a a background color so you simply drag and adjust to where you want this my video is too short that's why they are all clustered together but if it is very long like let's say it's like a 10 minute video or a five minute video after every two minutes i'll put my subscribe and like button after every two minutes i'll put my subscribe and like button so it's simply about going to your assets and just adding it to your timeline i hope this is clear so the next asset you will have to learn how to add is text very powerful so that when you are saying today we'll look at five ways for to promote your youtube video number one share with on your whatsapp status so you have to write it's best is the best practice to say number one in text form while you are saying it number one whatsapp story will appear so that's the next skill you have to learn how to do for camtasia it's actually under annotation every every editing software has its own way of adding text even as simple as in short it has its own way of adding text so you can simply come here i'm lumping all these things together because uh, this video is very short it's in just 11 seconds but you know you space it out right you, you simply as just dragging it to where you want it to be right so um you simply click you can just say hashtag number one post post on whatsapp status right you can now adjust it all the editing software have the, the opportunity for you to change anything you want like opportunity to change the font type opportunity to change the font color everything every software has it so if for example i want to change the font color I can simply come here and drag based on my brand colors, right? You know, I'm always big on brand colors. Everybody should have 
their own brand color so when people land on your channel they have the feel that this person is an organized person so you have at least two or three at most three at at least two at most three i use two so i have orange and blue as my brand colors for one of my channels the other channel has yellow and then black and uh, red so what you have to do is even on your videos make sure it reflects your brand colors right so you can come here and change the font type change the font color change the font size change anything you want and then drag it and place it where you are saying number one post on whatsapp status the fourth very important asset you need to add is what we call end screen and it's very simple go to pixabay.com and you download a free end screen that is what appears at the end of your video where you can put suggested video when you are posting on um, youtube when you upload your video on youtube youtube gives you the opportunity to add videos suggested videos but you need a template where you can add those videos so while editing you need to put that template right so if you go to pixabay.com um, you'll be able to download free templates however if you're a student of this recent and course i launched you have over 10 different and uh, more than 10 different uh, samples for you free samples you can use this is an end screen i think i downloaded this from pixabay so you simply scale to fit so you see at the end of the video you see thank you for watching so this pops out this pops out so when i'm uh, uploading on youtube i can place a video here i place a video here put my subscribe this is powerful many of my subscribers came from the end screen because at the end of the day they are satisfied you have given much value and then you see subscribe button there they simply click click then they will go and watch more video at the end of that video they more watch more video and that's how you have large watch time and audience retention youtube will be very very happy with you so the four skills you need is number one you have to learn how to upload number two you have to learn how to cut out things from your raw video number three you have to learn how to add things to your raw video number four you have to learn how to export then under the things you are cutting out you have to cut out mistakes and silence under the things you will be adding you have to learn how to add like button subscribe button text and then your end screen then when you are done you simply export different uh, platforms have different names some call it share like on camtasia is share there are places that call it export there are places that call it like produce others will say render so it doesn't matter just look for it so for camtasia is simply share local file and so on mm -hmm.